Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's case day at long last for 2020 Bowman. This product was supposed to come out about a month ago, but finally it is here at the end of May and it is slowly trickling out. I was lucky enough to be able to get a case today. Uh, Tops put out a press release saying that only a portion of the 2020 Bowman hobby boxes and jumbo boxes that were supposed to go out today actually did go out and the rest of them will show up to your local hobby shops within the next two or three weeks. So luckily I was able to get my hands on this one. We're gonna open this right now and see what we can find inside here. Lots of great rookie cards and prospect. And there's one autograph card per box. Everybody's looking for the Jason Dominguez card. He's kind of driving the value of the set. We can't find it at any retail locations around here in, in terms of blasters or any fat packs or anything like that. Um, but I have seen them selling on eBay for anywhere between $40 and $60 a piece. It's Jason Dominguez Manny out there. So anyway, we're going to open this up. Dan T's going to take the top left stack. Richard's going to take the bottom left stack. Ramon's getting the top right. And Jeffrey's going to take the bottom right. They're all Patreon members, and they are sponsoring this video. So let's get this started and see what we can find in a box of 2020 Bowman. This is a hobby box. There's Bo Bichette on the front, along with Gavin Lux, two of the top rookies in this year's class. You can see there they're telling us about the one autograph card per box. Here's the side, again with Bichette. And Lux, there's 24 packs in a hobby box with 10 cards per pack. And here's the back of it if you care that much about it. And there's the other side. So here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Dan, you're up. You get the entire top left stack. It's six packs for Dan as there's 24 packs per box. All right. Very nice looking box design. Here's the inside. I'm going to take out the top left for Dan and make sure he's got six packs. It looks like he does. All right. So let's get to ripping. One autograph per box. There are 100 rookies and veterans in this set in the paper set and there's also uh, 150 prospects and there's also some chrome cards that we'll be seeing so we start off with aj puck and take a look at the design kind of a nice simple design i like it let's check out the back of the card as well you can see it gives you their resume their skills and the up close very nice kind of a typical standard bowman card but it looks pretty clean there's bobby bradley and we have a nice gavin lux rookie card as our first uh, top rookie, one of the nice ones for Dan. Let's get Dan's name on the screen, by the way, so he knows he's getting all these cards. Rookie of the Year favorites, Gavin Lux. Take a look at the back of the card. There's a nice insert there. There's Hunter Green, who graced the box of Bowman back in 2018. Top prospect for the Reds. Jared Kelenic has all the New York Mets fans regretting that trade that sent him from the Mets to the Mariners. Daniel Lynch. Miguel Vargas, it's his first Bowman Chrome, as you see the Chrome cards here. We have Nick Solak, rookie card, and Mauricio Dubon, a rookie paper as the last one. So we have the paper and the chrome. All right, so here we go. Here is our next pack for Dan. I see a Max Muncy on the back. There's Tim Anderson on the front, Whit Merrifield. We have another rookie of the year favorite, Albert Alzole, a rookie card. Kind of a nice-looking card right there. Bayron Laura, by the way, if you're thinking about picking up a box of Hobby, they are selling for, before taxes and shipping, about $360 for a box right now. A very expensive product is there's a lot of people out there prospecting. Here's a very nice looking Tyler Freeman um, Bowman Chrome Prospects card and also a Jordan Adams as well. And we also have good old Frankie Lindor, Mr. Smile himself. And there's Max Muncy doing a bat flip after hitting a long home run uh, at Citizens Bank Park, it looks like. Nice card there. Here we go. What's up next for Dan? Let's see if we can find for him. Christian Yelich leads things off. We're looking for the Jason Dominguez and the base paper of that card all by itself. The prospect paper card is going for like $30 raw on eBay right now. The chrome is like $80 and up. There's Jesus Lusarda. If you're lucky enough to find an autograph of him, um, you've got yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars. There's a Logan Davidson. We also have an Ulrich Buchars Bocharski. I oftentimes butcher prospect names, and that's another case of that. All right, so three packs left for Dan. 
If you're lucky enough to find some Bowman on your shelves at your local Walmart, you are in luck. You should definitely pick this project up. I like it a lot. Nico Horner rookie card. And also saving yourself a lot of money instead of going the eBay route like I'm probably going to have to do for my blaster boxes. Of course, you guys know I always like to do the retail review where I go and pick up a fat pack and um, maybe like a retail pack and a blaster box. But I'm having trouble finding them. We got some Bowman Chrome Prospects card. There's Michael Baez. And the last one there is going to be Travis Dermott rookie card. Two more packs left for Dan. Let's see what we can find for him. He's looking for Dominguez. Man, he's also looking for the autographs. Got a shot at it here. There's a nice Riley Green. That's one of the Bowman Scouts 100 cards. I'm also looking forward to seeing the 1990 Bowman um, designs in here. They're kind of tossing it back to 1990, doing a nice little 30-year tribute. I used to buy a lot of 1990 Bowman back in the day. There's a nice Evan White chrome card, John Means. And the last one, there's a Dan Vogelback. So we have one more pack for Dan. Then we'll move over to the top right and see if Ramon can have any luck. A nice Bo Bichette rookie card. Very nice. I really like the look of this card with all the white, blue, and the white border. Makes the card pop. There's Kyle Lewis. He's got a Yu Chang, a nice prospect for the Indians. I uh, can't even read what it says behind him spinning the globe maybe you're spanning the globe um nice looking card there from taiwan blake rutherford we have tristan casas estevan florial and then we have two of our uh chrome bowman chrome prospect cards there there's a bryce harper and the last one there for dan is hunter dozier so dan thank you very much no autograph in that stack so now we move over to the top right see what we can find for ramon Best of luck to Ramon. Here we go. All right, so our first one is Matthew Boyd off the top. Had great strikeout numbers for the um, Detroit Tigers last year. 238 strikeouts, one of the few bright spots on their 47-win team. And I see a card that I'm pretty excited about. It's a 1990 design. We have a J-Rod. Very nice prospect right there. Julio Rodriguez from the Mariners Farm System. It is his 1990 Bowman uh, Chrome card. Check out the back of that one. Uh, that's a great card. I love that card. I'll have to look and see what that's going for on eBay. But it's a, a nice hit right there. There's Joe Adele, who's going to be in the Major Leagues before too long. The number one prospect, or actually number one pick last year for the texas rangers right there oscar gonzalez we have trevor story and javi baez is the last one for ramon so let's see what we have coming up next in these hobby packs like i said um i don't know if you've already seen my 2020 select video that i filmed about an hour ago there's aaron judge but we're going we will be doing some chrome for you guys force whitley's a nice prospect there Glen Allen Hill Jr. Remember his dad, Glen Allen Hill? That guy had some power. Hit one like over the buildings at, um, beyond the Waveland Avenue at Wrigley Field. J.J. Bladé, number one pick for the Marlins. But anyway, I mentioned this in the preview video. We'll be breaking 2020 Bowman. I've got a grand total of uh, it's two and a half cases. I have a whole case of Bowman Jumbos from 2020, which will be really fun. There's three autographs per box in the jumbos and then for the hobby i have a case and a half we'll be doing all of that along with a bonus case of select all on wednesday night so it's gonna be a big wednesday live stream we'll be uh, live also on sunday doing selectors jesus lusardo top scouts top 100 card bobby witt jr first bowman that's a good one number two overall pick last year in the draft son of bobby witt the former pitcher that you guys might remember from the late 80s and 90s. A J-Rod, another Julio Rodriguez, our second Julio Rodriguez, and Brady McConnell as well. We have Zach Gallon's rookie card and Andres Munoz as well. So three more packs left for Ramon. Thanks very much for joining us, by the way, on this Friday night. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We would love to have you along for more of these videos tomorrow. We will be doing our Saturday showdown. It's a nice big box war where the lowest numbered card wins all of the cards. Uh, we'll have eight different contestants facing off in that. That'll be a fun one. There's Mike Trout. I, also, I love that card as well. I also love the look of that one with the white board of the white home jerseys. Those cards are very eye-appealing to me. 
Two more packs for Ramon. Let's see what we can find. He's got a Vladdy Jr. on the back of the card. Paul DeYoung on the front there. There's another Julio Rodriguez. So he is all over the place in 2020 Bowman. Still looking for our first Jason Dominguez card, which would be a nice one to find. There's Francisco Mejia in the last one there. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Last pack for Ramon. Still, there's an autograph in here somewhere for someone. Let's see if it will be in this pack for Ramon. He's got a nice Juan Soto watching a home run there. Albert Alzole already found one of his cards. Andrew Vaughn also need to find Luis Roberts' rookie card. There's Blake Rutherford, a very, very nice Casey Mize. Let's see if this one is numbered. Nice Atomic uh, Bowman Chrome Prospects card. We have uh, Jack Flaherty. We've seen Casey Mize in the major leagues before too long. And Alex Young, rookie card is the last one. So, Ramon, congrats on the Casey Mize. Next up, we have Richard D. in the bottom left. Let's see what we can find for Richard D. Uh, best of luck to you. Here's your six packs. All right, so... Still an autograph in here somewhere, Richard. Maybe you will get lucky enough to find it. It's either going to be you or Jeffrey. You've got a 50-50 chance right now. You do have a nice Luis Robert 1990 Bowman card. A very nice card. He is um, one of the hottest rookies in the hobby right now. I can't wait until the season gets started so we can show you what he can do. There's the back of the card. He's um, going to be, I feel like, a very, a very good chance of being a... Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. type player with power and speed. Robert Pawson, first Bowman card. We also have a first Bowman, of, or not first Bowman, but a rookie card of Jesus Lusardo. Good old Jesus Lusardo is in the top five for me. I'd probably put him maybe five, maybe six now if you put Luis Robert in there. But he's a, a great, great uh, young pitcher. Pete Alonso, our first Polar Bear Saudi, and another Mariners card. It's Kyle Lewis, rookie card, 1990 Bowman. Nice card right there to go along with the J-Rod that we saw earlier. Taylor Trammell now in his Padres uniform, former Cincinnati Reds. Top prospect, there's Gavin Lux, rookie card, the number two um, prospect in the big leagues. You'll be seeing him for a full season whenever we get started. He might be able to be a 300 uh, bat, a perennial 300 bat in the major leagues. I know the Dodgers have high hopes for him. Everybody wanted to acquire Gavin Lux at the trade deadline last year, but the Dodgers weren't giving him up. Royce Lewis. We have a Jacob Amaya first Bowman, and also Kiebert Ruiz as well. There's Shohei Otani watching a deep drive go the opposite way. And Lucas Gilito is the last one in that pack. Where is this autograph? We only have nine packs left. I'm hoping it comes out soon, and I'm hoping it's a big one. I'm also waiting for our Jason Dominguez. Um, hope we can find that one. There we go. Congratulations, Hidden Finds. It's a Hidden Finds autograph. It's a low number on it, too. 12 of 25 from the San Diego Padres. Congratulations, Richard. You found yourself a Joey Cantillo autograph there, or Joey Cantillo autograph. Uh, check out the back. Congratulations. You've just received a Hidden Finds autograph card from 2020 Bowman of Joey Cantillo. Um, hidden Finds. Maybe there'll be an extra autograph card in here. And that's just a Hidden Finds. Like they're just tossing an extra. That would be nice. I doubt it. But let's see what else we can find. O'Neill Cruz is like a six foot six shortstop for the Buckos. Six foot seven shortstop with nice pop. Um, really, really lanky guy. Once he fills out, he could be a serious power threat for the Buckos, which is my home team. All right, so two more packs now. Since we found the autograph, it's time to hunt that Jason Dominguez and see if we can find that one. There's Jason, or not Jason, there's Shane Bieber and also Cody Bellinger. We have a nice Dustin May top 100 card there. There's Adam Hill. There's Nolan Gorman, one of the top prospects in the... Um, Cardinal system along with Nick Lodolo, Dustin May rookie card with that crazy carrot top and Trent Grissom is the last one. So here's the last pack for Richard. Best of luck to you, Richard. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. Uh, by the way, all these folks that uh, sponsored this break and participate in my case breaks are Patreon members. It's 10 cents a day, which is $3 a month. If you'd like to subscribe there to access all of um, those opportunities, there's Christian Pache, which is a nice one. There we go. Jason Dominguez, the best rookie card that you can find or first Bowman in this set. Uh, he is taking the hobby by storm. Like I mentioned, this card right here, just the 
base paper card is like a $30 card raw right out of the pack. Very nice for Richard. Congratulations on finding that one. You get another one right after it. It's a Wander Franco. A very nice card as well. And your last card here is going to be Joey Votto making a flip there um, to presumably a pitcher covering first base. All right, so we have one more stack left. It's going to be for Jeffrey. Best of luck to you. Jeffrey, let's see what we can find from our last six packs. Thank you once again for watching, everybody. I hope you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, tap that little bell. It'll get you notifications whenever we go live or post a new video. There's a nice Dustin May Rookie of the Year Favorites card, which is a nice one. He's uh, definitely within the top ten for the rookie cards in 2020. There's a nice Glaber Torres card as well. I saw Shane Baz in there, number one pick for the Pirates, who they basically just gave away for Chris Archer along with um, Austin Meadows, unfortunately, and Tyler Glass. Now, how about a nice Luis Robert rookie card? A very nice one like that one a lot. Um, Anthony Volpe. Let's see what else we have. Travis Swaggerty. Bryson Stott. Buster Posey. And Nomar Mazzara. So, Jeffrey, you have three packs left. I'm hoping you get a nice big hit in there. Bowman's always... Um, it's always tricky because sometimes there's some first Bowman cards of players that, you know, they're pretty good, but no one really has discovered them yet, and they really take off a little bit later on in their minor league career. It might take them a year or two to get going. We see that uh, happen every so often. Still, by the way, looking for Adley Rushman. I don't think we've seen him yet. We did find Bobby Witt Jr. looking for the number one overall pick, though, Adley Rushman. There's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. And three packs left on this new release video of... 2020 Bowman. I saw Jordan Alvarez rookie card on the back. Another nice rookie right there, Dylan Cease. We'll have to see what the White Sox do this year. I think they're going to be pretty good. At least I was expecting them to be pretty good. Now, I would have picked them to win that division um, back in March when I was about to make my preview video and the season got delayed. There's an Aristides Aquino and Jordan Alvarez back to back. So that's a nice pack right there with two of the top rookie cards to finish off that pack. Two packs left. For Jeffrey, let's see what we can find. Let's see Hanser Alberto on the back. Nice Mike Yastrzemski, grandson of Carl Yastrzemski, the legendary Red Sox player. There's Wander Franca, number one. He is the number one prospect in all the major leagues. You'll probably see him in 2021. We have a nice yellow border parallel card of Alvaro Sejas. That one's out of 75. Looks like it's 18 of 75. Nice low number there. There's Cabrian Hayes, who was the Pirates' best position player last year in the minor leagues. He's the son of Charlie Hayes, which is a name that should ring a bell to all of you longtime collectors. And here's our last pack. Thank you so much for watching. Again, everybody, I hope you hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And also, make sure you join us for a live stream on Sunday around 6.30 p.m. for Select. And we'll also be live with all of these Bowman uh, boxes on Wednesday evening. Final pack, Sean Murphy, rookie card. Nice prospect for the Athletics. Another Julio Rodriguez. I believe that's our fourth card that we have found. Nick Madrigal. And we also have an Aqua Shimmer Bowman Chrome of Hunter Bishop. That's 36 of 125. Nice looking card right there. Mike Soroka. And the last one there is going to be Robo Garcia, rookie card. So thank you very much to Jeffrey. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this preview video of 2020 Bowman Chrome. Get on out there and hopefully you can find some Bowman Chrome at your local Walmart or Target and pick some up for just the retail price of $20 a blaster box. You won't have to uh, pay $360 plus. It's, uh, Bowman Chrome is, or, or Bowman, 2020 Bowman is going off the charts right now. Definitely the hottest release <coughs> of the season. And, um, I can't wait to break it for you guys on Wednesday. So thanks once again. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope you had a great Friday. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you back here tomorrow when we do the Saturday Showdown, where I take two boxes and eight contestants face off. Each person gets a stack, and the lowest numbered card pools uh, pulled will win all of the cards it's a take everything or get nothing it's a very fun one if you didn't watch our last saturday showdown i hope you'll check that out so that's it for today have a great weekend everybody and i'll see you all tomorrow for the saturday showdown good night